Vic Gregory. And you could join in the conversation. All you have to do is dial the number 1-888-669-2281. And Dick, you were making a point. Go ahead. And please uh, inquire about this tomorrow because you have to have it and buy a sub subscription to it. It's the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Review. Now, they do stuff at that school that would make Hitler blush, okay? And it's the June, the May and June issue. Front page, front page. Picture of a white baby, and here's what it says. We can now engineer the human race, okay? They didn't say in nine years we'll be able to take a picture of this planet up there. They doing it now, okay? I'm gonna say it again to you. We can now engineer the human race. And please get that, and let me read it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it and we'll discuss it. Okay. Before we pick the next call, well, let me just Dick, show you something here. Okay, wait a minute, let me just talk about that for a minute because I think it's so important to raise that issue. We know that the United States paid the German scientists to come to this country and they hid them. And the deal yeah. was, especially, and this is real important, especially the testing of people who had multiple births, twins. Yes. And yes. they wanted to find out, they used as their guinea pigs Jewish people and black people, and they used as their guinea pigs Native Americans. But they didn't yeah. really, Native Americans fought back in many, many ways, and so the testing of, of uh, American and Natives to the country was not as intense as us. A couple of yeah. weeks ago, two weeks ago, Governor Jerry Brown, who you also know, Governor yeah. Jerry Brown signed an order. He signed two. The yeah. first one he signed said that all parents must inoculate their children. And if you do not inoculate your children, then you will be fined, could possibly face jail, and your children would not be allowed in any school or any public institutions or whatever yeah. because they didn't get him inoculated. Jerry Brown signed that. But this is yeah. the one. And I've been waiting to see this, and I have not seen this on any television station. Jerry Brown signed an order yeah. that said that young black men, now you and I know that this, is no, this has been going on forever, but this yeah. is just coming right out. And Jerry Brown was supposed to be a liberal. Jerry Brown was supposed to be a friend to be a Catholic. He went to the Catholic Church and become a priest. A Jesuit, a priest. Okay. He was supposed to be a human interested in human beings. He signed an order at the same time he signed the other order that will make it mandatory. Listen to the word I'm using. Mandatory. You have no choice if you live anywhere in California. Yeah. You have yeah. Yeah. no choice. Your child, especially young black men, will have to get this drug from this uh, pharmaceutical company. And the FDA approved it for testing. So when they tell you the lie that they don't use human beings for testing, we're not allowed to test on human beings. Well, they've been doing it forever and ever and ever. Amen. But I have not heard one single Word about it. No asking the uh, Food and Drug Administration. You're supposed to have public debate on the issue before you stamp your approval on a product. You're supposed to let the people know. And it happened in California, and no one is saying anything about it. If, and, but I'm going to use your phrase before you respond. You always say to me, baby, the universal God will take care of it. You know, you always tell me that. The universal God took care yep. of California because right now California's on fire and if you have your your, your we don't, have don't, monitors don't, don't, on don't, 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 okay don't, all right don't use God right. as a pit bull okay. okay all right okay all right let me tell you we wouldn't need God if he decided he was going to test on black men's automobiles okay we wouldn't tolerate it. will you hear me that's why you go all the way across this country I'm 83 years old, and you take your camera and ask black men, uh, when's the last time a white racist cop took his nightstick and hit your car? Hmm? You can shoot my mama in the back of the head 40 times, my daddy, my baby, you can rape them, but don't touch my car. We're the only man 
on this planet that look at our woman and because a white man said if you don't look white you can't be beautiful so we got that in our head but we see something god put in your face but we know we can't call it beautiful so we say you a strong sister Ain't not a man on this planet ever called his woman strong and then say, come out here and look at my beautiful car. Since when did your woman get strong and your car got beautiful? So I'm saying that this is in my head. Do you know how many thousands of black cops we got in America? And you run on TV and see a white person crying about this black cop shot my daughter in the back of the head 40 times. They arrested her. And when we went in there, she was hanging. She hung herself. You think black cops don't do that because they're more spiritual or they're better trained? They don't do it because they know white folks ain't going to tolerate it. No other reason, okay? And so when you sit and look at we talk about the Tuskegee experiment, okay? Now, nobody ever puts that in the right perspective. Tuskegee was the premier of black college, okay? Wealthy black folks from all over the world sent their children to Tuskegee, okay? Now, here's what they did. They did the syphilis thing. So now that's like all your elite minds is in Tuskegee and they poison the well. They give you syphilis so you can go back home. And when Clinton invited all of us, well, certain celebrities to the White House, uh, when he was going to talk about, you know, uh, how horrible that was, I didn't go. Why? Because they didn't invite the black woman. If you give me syphilis and I'm having an affair with you, you got syphilis, okay? And nobody demanded it. I don't want to be there. And so consequently, and then when you do the research, you find out that that was the, the Tuskegee Institute. Black nurses, the black college, was running that experiment, okay? Was running that experiment. And they told those black men that uh, come in, we got a new thing we're going to try out this, this coming winter to see to it you don't catch a cold, okay? And that's how they did that. Now, let me just switch to, 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 to another piece real quick. When you have a child, in order for that child to go to school, you have to have it, no, no, you have to have it in school by the age five or six. Different states vary. So if your child is not in school, you have violated the truancy law, and you can be put in jail, the parents. But if you have six children there and three of them starve to death, you don't go to jail. They take the other three and put them in a foster home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since when do, hear me, since when do not go to school, you get a greater punishment then three of your six children starved to death. Now, when I was a little boy, went to school, every classroom had a thermometer in it. I didn't, didn't understand why, I didn't care, okay? And then one day they found out the mercury is poison, okay? Now, there's a group that works in the hat, where they make the hats, and at one time, about 90% of men wore hats. And you can take those hats to the cleaners, and after they clean them, the block is still there. You can do, you, you, you can just put them on the little yeah. thing. And, and the people that worked there was called mad hatters, huh? Mad hatters. Why? Because they put mercury in them, and they did that with their hands, and they would go mad. That's why they was known as mad hatters. Okay. Now. They took all the thermometers out of, this is back to what you're talking about now, out of the school system. Then we found out the mercury filling in your teeth. Mm -hmm. We get the cancer. So what you do now, if you go to your dentist in Pittsburgh tomorrow and you have mercury, it's a felony if that dentist pulls that mercury out without getting in touch with the EPA. And they will send that dentist a little box to put it in 
and within 24 hours, he'd rather be back there or somebody going to jail. Mercury. Now, when they tell you, forget Jerry Brown, when they tell you about the inoculations you need in every state in America, you know what preservatives they use, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mercury. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mercury. Okay? Mercury. Did you hear me? Mm hmm. They use it now. Mercury, mercury, mercury. Okay? And where are they using it at? We have to take a break. And when we come back, we have to take some callers because we have a lot of people waiting to talk <laughs> to Dick Gregory about the world according. Hold on. We'll be right back do the same thing we have people are waiting at one 669 2281 quickly to the issue of inoculating testing using blacks for guinea pigs we know they're doing that in california again is the issue of allowing young black men to be given a drug because they say they're hyperactive and they pay the mothers to allow their children to be inocul inoculated with this the reason why they're t they want this um uh, the reason why they want this particular drug for the blacks is because this drug is supposed to control behavior and they want to use this to determine what the behavior is. And, I mean, they want to, so because some children act up, they want to test black people to see what makes black children act up and not sit still. They say there's something wrong with them. Well, then, are they going to test the whites? Are they going to test the native? No, because we're not going to demand it. How many people you think heard this the first time on this show when you brought that? 